Welcome back to another lesson for N3 Industrial Electronics. In this video, we'll be taking a look at question two from a previous national exam paper. Here we have a parallel branch. In this parallel branch, we have a resistor connected in series to an inductor, and therefore we will call this the inductive branch. And this is in parallel with a capacitor, which we will refer to as the capacitive branch. Now voltage remains the same across the parallel branch. However, we find that for a parallel branch, the total current is equal to I1 plus I2. In the first part of this question, we need to determine the phase angle of the inductive branch. Very important to note, we are referring to the inductive branch. Determine the phase angle will be cos to the minus one and R over the impedance. So first of all, to calculate the impedance total, we first need to calculate the inductive reactance. And this is equal to two times pi times the frequency of 50 Hertz multiplied by the value of the inductor. To convert millihenry into Henry, we multiply by 10 to the minus three. Therefore, the inductive reactance is 62,84 ohms. To determine the impedance across the inductive branch, it'll be the R square, 75 square, plus the inductive reactance square, all square rooted, and therefore the impedance is 97,846 ohms. Now we can go ahead and determine the phase angle of cos to the minus one, the resistance of 75 ohms, and the impedance across the inductive branch is 97,846. Therefore, the phase angle is 39,96 degrees. In the second part of question two, we need to determine the current flowing inside of the inductive branch. So therefore, it's V total divided by the impedance total of the inductive branch. The voltage total is 180 volts and the impedance total of 97,846. Therefore, the current flowing in the inductive branch is 1,839 amps. Now, in part three of question two, we need to determine the current flowing through the capacitive branch. So therefore, it's V total divided by the capacitive reactance. To calculate the capacitive reactance, it's one over two pi times F, which is the frequency of 50 Hertz. And to convert 150 microfarad into farad, we multiply by 10 to the minus six. Therefore, the capacitive reactance is 21,218 ohms. The V total of 180 divided by the capacitive reactance, it means that the current flowing through the capacitor is 8,483 amps. Now in part four of question two, we need to determine the horizontal component of the current flowing in the inductive branch. To calculate the horizontal component, it is I multiplied by cos theta. So therefore we substitute the phase angle of 39,96. Therefore the horizontal component of the current is 1,409 amps. Now in part five, we need to determine the vertical component of the current flowing in the inductive branch. And the vertical co component is current multiplied by sine theta. Therefore, the current flowing in the inductive branch multiplied by sine and the phase angle is 39,96. Therefore, the vertical component of this current is 1,18 amps. Right, that brings us to the end of question two. Thanks for watching this video and uh, hopefully we'll find some time to make another video for this preparation. All right, take care, thank you.